Hey warriors, a quick challenge in XJS today, we need to build a traffic light. Let's see how it should work. So this is what it should look like. It should be 7 seconds of red light, after that we are going straight to green, then 5 seconds of green light, and then we should have yellow, 5 seconds again, and then again red light. And the circle is closed, now we go everything from the beginning. Let's build this one quickly. Let's go, so we have our Next.js app installed, so the current version is 14.1.4, that's the latest version in this moment. And first thing we are going to do is to delete all this default stuff from Next.js and the minimum height screen. So now, yes, now we have black screen and we can put header just to say traffic light. Okay, and now, Let's create our traffic light components. So we are going to create components folder in the root directory and there traffic light component TSX and let me collapse this one. We are going to use the RFC react snippets for functional component. And now we can quickly build our traffic light, how it should look. So here we're going to have three divs, so red, yellow and green, and we can put, we are using Tailwind for this one, so it's not just plain CSS, so we are going to use flex, flex column to have all divs one beneath another, uh, we are going to put some gap of five, and I think that will be enough, and here we can put class name, some width of, uh, I, I think it should be 40. Then this one should be background color red 500. And also, yes, also height 40. And we're going to put the same thing here and here, but only we're going to put yellow and green. So let's just import here our component just to see how it looks like this okay that one looks great we are going to put rounded full on all three of our divs and that one should already look yes like a traffic light and i hope you can guys see it because of my head and here we're going to put a border and also some padding, maybe a little bit more of padding. Yes, now it looks really like a traffic light. So next thing, we need to turn these lights on with some timeout. Let's see how to do that. So what are we going to need is our light, which is going to be a React state. So we are going to use light set light we are going to use use state hook from react and our default can start as red and for this one because we are using state we need to put in xjs use client and also we are going to create a type so we are going to call it type light and we are just going to put red or yellow or green okay and our state is going to be type light that one looks good i don't know why my formatting is a little bit weird maybe because my visual studio is yeah now it's good Okay, let's continue. So now we are going to check the state light and if case it's red, then here it should be, the background should be red in case it's yellow, yellow and green. So here we are going to put like this for our classes. So 
we can put a variable inside and later we are going to put a timeout to decide which one is currently active. So here we are going to say if what we called it light equals to red then just put background red 500 like this and now currently our light is red because by default this one is red so now same thing for all three of them so here if yellow then yellow and here if green then background green yes and now this is an expected behavior we have red color only because our light is by default red now we need our use effect hook so here this hook runs after every render and when the dependencies change in our case light so here we are going to put as a dependency in use effect light our state and then we are going to create a timer so set timeout and for now we can just put two seconds so that's the part where we are going to need seven seconds for red light and five seconds for yellow and for green so inside this timeout function a switch statement or some if statement is used to determine the next light color based on our current light color so here we're going just to say if our state light equals red so after red we should set light to green like on the real traffic light and if light equals yellow then it should go set light to red and I jumped over one step if light equals green then it should set light to yellow okay that one looks good and very important part here is to do a clear timeout so here in the end of our use effect we are going to call clear timeout for our timer variable so basically this one clears the timer when the component is unmounted or when our dependencies change so in our case that is the light dependency so now we need to add instead of these two seconds we need to create a new function it can be called get uh, light duration and it will receive that current light that we have it and it is going to be light type and there we are just going to say if current light equals red so this is the time we are going to get so we can return seven seconds and if current light equals green or current light equals yellow then return five seconds so here in our clear timeout oh sorry not in clear timeout here in our two seconds in our set timeout we are going to put get light duration and put in our light state and we are going to multiply that by 1000 so we get the seconds and it's complaining on something object is possibly undefined okay so here we should put return zero but this one should never happen and now let's try refreshing our traffic light so we have our red light and after seven seconds i hope it will change to green yes we have now green light that should be five seconds and after five seconds yellow and then so this one is happening right now and then again red yes it's working 
this was really quick and easy again green light it's working like a charm i can build streets now with my web development knowledge this was not that much workish it was a little bit modern with traffic lights streets and everything but next time i'll try to do something in fantasy genre if you have some ideas just comment me please this was really quick and fun if you have more challenges like this just comment below and i'll gladly take them on and until next time, fellow warriors.